uh, not too much hesitation. I mean, we're a great, we were at a great club. We were at PSG. It was a great club. But when Carlo first mentioned to it to, to me, he said, um, uh, "You know, Real Madrid are interested." It was like, "Oh wow!" And then it was like, "Oh, I hope this happens," because there's there's one thing there's one thing that there's interest, but there's a lot to be done before it actually becomes real. Um, yeah. so there was that period where you're thinking, is this going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Oh, so the more and more the season progressed at PSG, then we were getting closer and it became more serious. Um, and when it actually happened, it was, uh, it was amazing. It was, a, it was, it was a shame in one way to leave Paris Saint-Germain, but it's not a club you say no to. Um, and it was, a uh, no. It was amazing. So I would say zero, zero percent hesitation. Uh, what an amazing opportunity. And I was so privileged and happy to be there. It was one of the most amazing times of my career. In your opinion, is it, is it the biggest club in the world? And how so, if you, if you think it is? I'm gonna, I, I am slightly biased, but I would say yes. Um, And having experienced it from the inside as well now, um, I would say yes, 100%. It's the biggest club. Um, so how do you how do you measure those things? Well, there's lot there's there's lots of measurements, isn't there, that you can look at? Um, whether that be titles won, European trophies won, no one's won more, no one's even got close to where they're at in terms yeah, of, of course, that. Yeah. Players players that have played for the club, managers that have managed it size of the fan base um stadium i mean it's a, it's a, it is absolute machine real madrid um very historical when you when you when you when you're there when you're in the um in the boardroom and the trophies are displayed in the cabinet uh pictures of past teams you know going back to you know Di Stefano and Puskas and you know into the Galactico era era and right up to now um an incredible incredible club so i i would say yes and i was privileged to be a part of a small part of that history there of course um winning the champions league and the club world cup how do you look back on those memories those experiences i know i mean they just seem like a seems such a long time ago now um It's strange when when you when you when you go to a club like that at the start it's like wow this is this is what an amazing thing to be a part of but it does become normal quite quickly um because it is ultimately it's your job and you go from home to the training ground um and then you go to a stadium and then you go on a bus and you travel to uh, another stadium or you go on a flight and go to another stadium and that becomes the routine And it's like that whether you're at Real Madrid or whether you're at Circle Bruges in Belgium, it's the same. You go from home to the training ground and you prepare and you plan and you work with your players and you try and win. It's just on a bigger scale. Um, and having won those trophies, ama amazing experiences. Um, but I tend to look forward now rather than, than back um, about... Oh, yeah. You know what I can what I can do in my career and how I can help uh, players and teams uh, moving forward. But of course, very very lucky to have experienced that, and I'm I'm very well aware that a lot of coaches will go through their career and see nothing like that. Um, so I was lucky at Chelsea and PSG and Bayern and Real Madrid to experience some great moments and and silverware. Um, but I still want more. It's a, it's a, no, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty small. It's